Three, nine. <gasps> nine? That's pretty good. We were like, should we be scared? It felt more than 10 hours for sure. Tired, but here we come, Israel. Ah. Where are we going? The promised land. Let's go. <laughs> it's literally three in the morning. We're so tired, but we're going to Israel. We're going to praise Jesus. Let's go. How are you feeling after that? Dude, I don't ever want to have a baby. <laughs> ever. We're not having kids. For a long. If we do have kids. They're not flying with us until they're 15 years old. <laughs> yeah, we just landed in Jersey and... Guys, we were surrounded by babies. We literally had like two babies in front of us and then a baby behind us. And they, were, they all synced up and screamed together. They were competing with each other. They were like, <laughs> one baby was crying, the other baby was like, watch this. Hey, look what I can do. Well, we land, or we're getting into our seat and this guy sitting next to us just... Like, it's his Max, Max's Max. child. She's like two years old, and I'm like, I'm like of course she's. Right there. I'm like, of course she's gonna be crying. You, you smacked the crap out of her. Yeah, that and wasn't very nice. She. Literally, and then, and then she proceeded to cry the entire flight. All right, she's coming. Up okay, yeah, we see her. We gotta go. So. We are going to Israel today with Passage, and I'm so excited to go back to the Promised Land. I went in 2019, if you guys remember, and it was a life-changing trip for my faith, and I'm really excited to be going back to Israel, but this time with my boo-boo. Are you so excited? Yes. Um, I'm excited I'm because excited the food. since the last time I went, my Bible knowledge wasn't very high, and I've had three years, it's been three years. Four years. No, four. Four years to prepare for this moment. I got my Bible out right now. We're about to prepare. The shirt's actually kind of fire. It's fire. It's also so comfortable. Except on the plane, I was so cold. I literally stuck my arms in and held myself in my sweater and my arms were just flailing around. We made it. Let's get out. I know. That felt more than 10 hours for sure. But we made it. How does it feel? My first time besides Australia. It feels weird. It's crazy. All right, I haven't been vlogging because I've been vlogging on my phone. We have been all over the place today. We got off the flight and, and went Sunday. straight into just go mode. So we're both a little stinky. I got sunburned, um, but we are about to have dinner. This, this really cute venue, and this is so stunning. Look at this food. It's like a buffet style bread. That salad looks fire. Guess what we eat? Guess who we eating for dinner? What are you? What you talking about, fool? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just now learning like everyone's names, and getting to know people. We're doing dinner. We didn't really have a chance because we got off the bus and we were like immediately learning biblical history, which was really cool, but I have not showered since the plane. We got off the plane mm -hmm. over 15 hours of travel and then they're like immediately into a three mile hike. Yeah, everyone was sweating. You could imagine the smell on that bus, but we're good now, fam. Look at you rocking your men's fabletics. Yeah, I've got these days. <laughs> no, it looks so good on you. You think so? Yes. All right, first meal here. So excited for this pita bread and hummus. Here we, we go. We haven't had a meal in two days. We have, but it hasn't been like like a solid meal, you know? It's been bread. Here you go. It's so good. I searched the scriptures and I traveled to Israel for myself when I was about your age. And I found that Jesus is everything that he claimed to be. Good morning, Israel. 
What a beautiful view. Wow. Hello, Israel. And good morning to you all. It is the first official, like, full day here. I just slept, um, poorly slept, unfortunately. Couldn't just, like, stay asleep. Pillows were uncomfortable. Jet lag, all the things. Um, but now I'm gonna get ready for the day. Um, so let's go get ready for the day. I'm excited. I didn't bring a tripod, many regrets, but there was just no room for it. But I'm just doing my skincare. Today we have a full itinerary of things to do. And one of those actually is visiting a Holocaust museum, which is gonna be insane. And just go and like pay our respects and learn more about it. And I've never been to like an official Holocaust museum. Like even when I went to Germany, I visited like the memorials and stuff, but I never went to um, a museum. So I'm looking forward to learning more about it and going to that. I think I'm gonna wear this today. It's like 90 something degrees here. It's so hot. This is Abercrombie and this is Zara. All right, first breakfast here. And how we know that this is the well? Traditionally, we, we believe that this is the location that the event happened. Um, no, we're, we are where they think that Abraham built the first well, his well, and they have preserved it right over there. All right, it's lunchtime. They are bringing us to an American diner named Elvis, which is kind of funny. We can't escape America. Anyway, here's the restaurant. It's cute. Wow. All right, so we are now at the Holocaust Museum. We're checking the Lonnie News because we're both zonked. We snuck this in from America. <laughs> yeah, it's illegal in Israel to have more than 150 grams of caffeine. We would be kicked out of the country if that was actually true. Could you imagine? That's why we No, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I smuggled an Alani. the assets of those who perished and used them to help establish and develop Yad Vashem. Thereby ensure... Send your out, Ukraine. So just to show you that this, this I mean, I don't, do I need to add anything? It's just like there's nothing I can add. Just... Okay, so we just got back from the Holocaust Museum. We were there for a good bit. Gosh, that was so eye-opening. I've known a lot about that because I've like researched it a ton and like studied it and my dad being from Germany, like we would talk about it all the time growing up. Um, and so it was just a sobering reality walking into there, learning about it, seeing the faces, seeing the names. I mean, even though that happened so long ago, still like it is still such a tragedy and a mass genocide that is horrible and it was just really heartbreaking sobering to just walk through there and see everything and it was just like a refreshment of the history and stuff so i enjoyed being in there i enjoyed getting to relearn about it but of course just because it happened a long time ago doesn't mean that it doesn't still like affect culture and people so it was definitely interesting um we are now on to the next thing we have the rest of the night off so caleb and i are not a part of the seminary students so we have freedom to do whatever we want tonight so we're probably going to go into town and i'm really excited for that we're going to get dinner i'm super hungry just checked into our hotel here is my hotel room this is what i wore today i'm so sweaty i'm going to probably shower here in a little bit just rinse off and then change and then go get food so we can see a little bit of the town Kayla copied my outfit. You, Why'd you copy my outfit? I literally told you to get those shoes. Literally, you copied me. He comes into my hotel room wearing the same... What if I just said... Wow, I'm... this lighting is horrendous. Um, okay, so pretty proud of ourselves because we left the hotel. We were going to take a taxi to go into town to it go to this market. 80 shekels. 80 shekels. And the, and the guy, the like concierge at the hotel, bucks. he was like, you're not doing that. He was like, you're going to take the train. We were like, should we be scared? He's like, no, you're fine. He told us exactly where to go. 
We figured it out ourselves, and here's the train. So we're gonna take the train into town. All right, we have successfully made it. With the help of a girl on the train, we got here. This place is lit. Like, we didn't people know. turning up here. We got on the train and went to pay for it, and it didn't work. And, and the girl was like, don't you have money on your card? And we were like, no. <laughs> you gotta pay $5 for the card. We thought, we that, thought that's all you could do. We learned yeah. the hard way. It feels so weird being back here. You want some candy, babe? Okay. We find the dopest place. Israel experience. We're getting there right now. We flew to this awesome wine bar. We got ourselves a cup of wine. And this guy sits down and starts playing live music for us. This is exactly what we were looking for. Okay, we're back in my room. I'm very tired. We're very tired. But it was so okay. fun going into town. By the way, I got some candy that I'm trying to try. Yeah, we literally got one of each candy and we're gonna do like a little taste test. Okay, we are trying this strawberry. I feel like our heads are cut off. Hey, that means you gotta try it first. We gotta rate it out of 10. Bam. Two, three, Nine. four. What? Nine? <laughs> Nine? This is horrible. I love it. This is like the worst strawberry candy I've ever had in my life. I want it. I want the rest of yours then. Okay. I give this a nine. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not gonna like this one. We got a Coke bottle pop. You can't be biased. I, I can't know your score. So don't. I'm being I just don't like any Coke candy typically. Just don't make any faces. I don't wanna know. <laughs> Stop. You can't. I can't. It. Stop. I don't wanna eat it. We gotta see what the scores are but despite knowing which other goes. I want the rest. One, two, three, zero. Seven. Mm -hmm. okay. I hate anything Coke candy typically. Okay, we got this weird multicolored. I'm gonna put this right here. Multicolored candy looking thing. It looks like a gobstopper. Yeah. From what is happening? Why did you write that? All right. One, two, three, six. six. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> it was interesting. I was interesting. Yeah. Not a, not a fan of that one really. All right. Now we have this like. It looks like an avocado. It looks like a tamale. <laughs> it's literally green with pink. With pink on the middle. Okay, let me explain this. Tastes like bubble gum. It's like a, um, mmm. It's watermelon. Ferrola? Yeah, it tastes like a ferrola with something. One, two, three, eight. eight. Nice. nice. <laughs> That's good. It's like. It's a, like a block. It, it's rainbow with like, it looks like bricks on it. All right. This one tastes like nothing. Here we are. One, two, three, Five. two. It literally, it was so bland. Yeah, it didn't taste like much. Last one is this blue ribbon looking thing. All the candies are starting to blur into one. All right, one, two, three, three. three. <gasps> <laughs> now we're doing the teeth. <laughs> this is kind of gross. Is it licorice? All the candy. It's starting to blur into one. This just tastes like a uh, gummy bear. One, one two, two, three, three four. Okay. That was pretty Last good. one is like a chocolate looking thing. Multi Hang on, we gotta, how are we gonna do this? We gotta, we really can't see sharp. <laughs> oh, no bias. One, two, three, one. Nine? <gasps> nine? That's pretty good. One. I did not like it. Really? Yeah. The nine, I'd say an eight. Tonight? Mm -hmm. Was it an eight? Mm -hmm. That wine was $100. No, it was not. Was it? Yeah. Okay, in shekels. <laughs> Let's go to bed. Okay. We're gonna busy day tomorrow. Good night, everybody. You need to go to your room, and I need to go to sleep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Chinese product. <laughs> Look at the gold down there, pretty. Like bees around. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Okay, it is the next day. We are take, roaming around take Jerusalem. Take potentially everything you're gonna need for Do not forget your whispers. Guys, look, it's so pretty. And the weather is perfect today. Give me a fit check. What are we wearing today? Uh, Zara, Amazon, Beachy, Converse, and Ray Bans. It's capturing.
to. I'm getting I'm kidding. On my I'm always ask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, oh, no, that didn't sit well. That didn't sit well. The room went silent. <laughs> um, but Mikey, say what's up. Welcome to the vlog. This is Claire. She's she's uh, joining us today as well, and we're gonna be roaming around town. So we, we get some food. Moving here. That yep, official the announcement. <laughs> yeah, he's shotgunning an energy drink because it popped in my backpack. It's the only we literally it's the only way we can drink it. There's a kitty. Hi, kitty. You're so cute. Babe, you're spilling. I need to have some. All right, get me now. We're both out trying to trip on these stairs. <laughs> I feel like an idiot doing this. <laughs> We're in Jerusalem. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's an Alani nude. Don't, you know, don't get it twisted. Pit check. Wow. My turn. Hello. Oh, Isn't this cool? Yeah. Look at the little cute umbrellas up there. A little umbrella. What are you doing? Cleaning out my bag because it's spilled. <laughs> Something's spilled in here. What a view. We are at the Tower of David right now. Except David did not build this. And I built this. Let's see. With those hands. Strong hands. Anyway, we're here. Weather's perfect. Child's on a pyramid. <laughs> so dope. It's so amazing. We've said to them, they've taken the one out of the two and I do not know, we do not know where they're going to So Peter went out with the other disciple and they were going towards the two. Both of them were running together. But the other disciple outran Peter and reached the two first. And stooping to look in, going into a big chamber, do you have to stoop? I have split off from the rest of the group. He has to pee so badly. I can't move. Oh my, battery's about to die, dang it. So this is where they think Jesus. Okay, it's the next day. We are now in the city of David, which is really cool. We love David. David. What would happen if I just chunked you over this wall? Might would you forgive me? You think I would live? Oh, I think you're, uh, what's the word? Vigilant? I don't Vigilant. know. Look how dope this is. <laughs> Come here, what have you got? You've got two layers of excavation. The excavation. Wait, so what is this place called? This is the Davidson Center. Sorry, I thought they were it's so cool. Kababa. Oh. Hey, welcome back to the vlog. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a view. This is so dope. And most importantly, comfort into those who were gathered on these steps listening to his proclamation. Okay, so we are at the Jerusalem Archeolo Archeological. Why oh, can't I pronounce that? Archeolo Archeological. Archeological. <laughs> Park. And uh, that was really cool. Our tour guide is absolutely amazing. I love being with this group. Everyone's like so locked in and like loves to learn. I love learning about this type of stuff. Um, it's really fascinating to me. But we're getting lunch right now in the courtyard. I just secured the table. We were placed on curfew and only had a few hours to leave our home every single day to go out and get the basic necessities of life. Having parents. Okay, coming at y'all with a 
weird video. I look really creepy. Um, so it is Friday here and it kicks off Shabbat, which basically is where they don't work. They don't like, they just take a day off. And so you kind of celebrate, you gather around, you do a Shabbat dinner, you cook together. And so we weren't allowed to like use our phones or cameras or anything. They wanted us to be really, really present. And it was one of the coolest experiences. The lighting is just one of the coolest experiences and we all just got to have like really good conversation we got to have dinner with the jewish families and ask them questions and today was just really impactful like hearing from an arabic who has palestinian family and friends and then hearing from the jewish side like i remember we did this last time and it was really impactful learning more about the conflict and yeah it's definitely like a really difficult conversation but i am honestly like so thankful that we get to be in those conversations and we get to learn about them and just try to like hopefully pray for it and make peace and it's not a simple solution unfortunately but anyway today was so amazing i'm thoroughly enjoying this trip um and tomorrow we go to the desert and i will probably start a new vlog from there but thank you guys for watching this long vlog thank you so much to passages for sending me if you guys want to check them out it's mainly for students but they are going to do a program where there's signups for non-students so i'll have the link to both down below but this is such an honor thank you guys for hanging out with me on my vlogs this is just a really cool moment for me considering again i was here back in 2019 and that was a really staple part of my faith and now coming back and just being like, wow, like, I understand the Bible so much more. There's so much more to learn. Like, I'm still learning so much here, but it's just been really cool. And being here with Caleb has been really, really sweet as well. So we're going to go to the desert, the Dead Sea. So many fun, amazing things tomorrow. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to check out any of my stories or posts about it, that'll be linked down below. All right. Love you guys. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye.